New details right now on the search for Mia Marcano. Her family insists they will not give up despite all the time that's passed by. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live in Orlando with the latest. Ted. Yeah, Lauren and Elliot, tonight the family is holding a vigil here in Orlando. You can see behind me here everyone already gathering outside of her apartment, lighting candles, getting ready uh, to say some prayers. They're out here despite the fact that this is day six. The family said they're still hopeful. Since the day Mia was born, she has been a shining light in her entire family's lives. Adriana Sue smiles as she talks about her goddaughter, Mia Marcano. Adriana said everyone knows Mia for her smile and sense of humor. She's funny, she's goofy, she's silly. She's very, very family oriented. She loves her family and her family loves her back. The 19 year old from Pembroke Pines vanished from her Orlando apartment last Friday. Family, friends and deputies have been searching for her for days, turning up nothing. Despite that, her family is holding on to hope. Mia is in the prime of her life. Her life is just getting started and we need to bring her home. We are a family of faith, but most of all, we have faith in Mia, that Mia is still fighting, that she's waiting for us to come to her. There are over 60 detectives from our criminal investigations division working exclusively on this case, 60 detectives. Orange County Sheriff John Mina said his deputies are working round the clock to find Mia. The search has expanded to cover several central Florida counties and they've enlisted the help of the FBI. Right now, our emergency response team and others have conducted nearly 30 searches since Mia has been missing. That spans uh, three different counties and has included about 175 personnel. Sheriff Mina said the only suspect in the case is Mia's co-worker Armando Caballero. He was found dead of an apparent suicide. Now her family is trying to keep their spirits up as they search for Mia. It's extremely hard because in the back of your mind you're wondering is she tired? Is she scared? Is she hot? Is she cold? Does she have a sunburn? Is she, is she hungry? So it's extremely, extremely hard. So that vigil just getting underway now here in Orlando as the family is holding out hope. Live in Orlando, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News at 7. Ted, thank you. And our team coverage moves now to Pembroke Pines. CBS 4's Austin Carter is there where a vigil is also about to begin. Austin.